Right, we're going to look at the um, carbon cycle. So start with carbon dioxide in the air and the carbon from the carbon dioxide in the air can be incorporated into plants by photosynthesis. We don't need to worry about the photosynthesis equation at this time, but the carbon from carbon dioxide is incorporated into trees and into grass and all plant matter. Now the carbon from the plants can then be incorporated into animals by animals eating the plants. Fairly straightforward. The carbon can be involved in growth or uh, some of it can be excreted and some organisms will die. Excreted material and dead animals and dead plants uh, allow carbon to enter soil as shown here. Now within the soil there may well be microbes and the microbes will incorporate the carbon and there would be growth there. Now the microbes will release carbon, the animals will release carbon and the plants will release carbon because every living cell undergoes respiration. Respiration is using carbon-based materials, sugars usually, for energy and in the process carbon dioxide is released. Now in some cases the carbon from decaying or dead animals and plants is locked underground and this process is called fossilization. So dead animal and plant material can get locked into carbon sources underground which become coal, oil and natural gas. Now along with wood from uh, living sources and other organic material these can be burnt. In the process of burning carbon dioxide is released back into the air so the carbon that was locked away in fossil fuels is released back into the air on combustion and that completes the information that you need to know on the carbon cycle.